Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well. So today I want to talk to you about a few things that are coming up here. And you may want to get your calendar and mark it down because it involves the next several months. So I'm going to give you sort of the broad-based view. And um, I want to let you know that what I'm going to talk about here is, is your light body ready? And as you can hear, I'm getting over something. I'm getting over a sinus infection, which, as it turns out, is another part of my getting ready. I had one uh, at the end of last year, and I'm having another go around of it to release things. Now, interestingly, more things were revealed during this one. It wasn't always that way for me. When I was a child, I was very prone to upper respiratory. In fact, once I got so sick, they had hospitalized me when I was about a year old. And I pulled through that. And I can honestly say that I've died a thousand deaths to be here, just like a lot of you have. So many people have felt themselves either dying out of dimensions, dying out of past lives. And that is your truth. The other thing to know about it, though, is what does your light body have to do with it? So you might say, hey, as I've been clearing this stuff, I'm much more sensitive, I'm much more aware, and why? Or maybe you're not. Maybe you just have things that go bump in the night, and you would like some clarity on it. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what's going to be happening. From the rest of May through June, and this is leading up to the solstice, May, all puns intended, it may be confusing, but please stick to the plan. That means get your light body ready. So if you feel like either you or your twin have been floundering around out there, lost in an emotional sea, start working on your light body. <clears throat> in June... Please have all your arrangements at least started so you can be free. What would this be? Well, for many people, this is going to be the very things that you've been feeling prompted and pushed to do and you haven't been able to get over, you know, get over the hump and get it done. It's going to be things like leaving a job, starting a business. It may be um, changing your focus. It may be getting a divorce. It might be bringing something to a closure, especially. You are closing out the door to the old paradigm. But how do you do it? So you have to be free. That means unencumbered. And a lot of people do this, like, you know, thing where they're, like, in this race with your twin. Well, if you do it, I'll do it. If you do it, I'll do it. And no. You have to want to get yourself free to be with each other. That is one of the committed, higher level choices that actually is incumbent on people. It's expected, in other words. You're expected to be able to make the choice right here at this level, even when you may not know what's going to come. Now, that's not only faith. That is trusting in your plan. Sticking to your plan. Sticking to the plan that you yourselves, both of you, have set up for yourself. <clears throat> now, the next thing, July, this is going to be the first closure. This is going to be the very first closure of some karmic things for people. If you haven't gotten free or even started it, you're going to find things get a little topsy-turvy for you. Keep your seatbelt nearby. Keep your oxygen mask and your seatbelt nearby. Um, this is going to be for the Indigo Seraphim Anophomnum Twin Flames. And for a lot of people, this will be some of the very first Golden Love Child Baby Conceptions. 
your body may be getting you ready for it. In fact, that is what I'm going to be talking about a lot of in my Blue Infusion webinars. I've already started talking about it. Ways to get your body prepared because it's, it's more than just your ovaries. It's more than just testosterone. There are more parts of you and that's another thing to remember, especially if you already have children. The children need their divine parents. Some of those children are throwing off their karma at an alarming rate. And they're going through stuff and they don't even look like themselves. Like you can say, who are you and what have you done with my child? There's somebody else here. You're just not acting like yourself. It might be many people around you, especially if you are a Blu-ray. You will have people acting out of character around you. But the very first baby conceptions into August. What happens in August? Well, at the Lions Gate, this is the final closure for the Blu-ray Rod and Staff unions to any of the lineage damage and disease so you can be entirely new. And you're not phoning this in, people. You are doing this up close and personal with each other. Yes, you are. And so if you would like some help with this for going forward, easing your transition, and mostly easing your transformation, you both are transforming. Your twin is transforming also, even if you can't see what they're doing. So are you waking up at night? Are you being woken up two or three times a night? Are you not sure what that's all about or what to do with it? Are you wondering why this sudden insomnia? Why do I have energy now and why do I not have energy at other times? Do you get hot? Do you get cold? Are you feeling some of your body part aches? This is kind of a joke, but can you predict the weather through your joints? And in some ways that's a joke, but actually you are getting more sensitive to things like barometric pressures, weather changes, and becoming more adept at sensing so that you can be proactive. It's not to bat you around and pummel you. This is happening so that you're not only sensitive, but you're aware of your environment and of other people, of other influences. How do you re remove other energies from your union? How do you finish resolving the things so you can be free? So, <clears throat> this Lion's Gate, I've known this is coming for actually two years. In 2014, the Lion's Gate actually did close the door and the Blu-ray Rod and Staff Unions really started getting into position. Most of the grid work was done. Most of the prototyping was done at that point. Everything was lining up so that you have the old matrix, but you have a new grid of life for the new earth and for your union and for going forward. Not retreating, not going back into the old, not picking up old things. Now, as with everything, sure there's a grace period because if you're still really afraid, you can stay there with your fear until the fear leaves you. But if you are ready to move forward, you will feel it. And you will feel a sense of movement. You will feel things that actually do get you to other levels. You're not going to understand it all with your mind. Nor will you always understand what you are feeling when you are clearing things. So for example... What am I clearing here? Even though it's up here and it's for this area of the body, I very much felt it in the lung area and especially the lining, the lining of my stomach, the lining of the lungs and sort of the membrane that holds it called the pleura. So I was getting words like emphysema. I've never smoked in my life. Well, I tried cigarette once when I was 10 Got it from my grandma. She didn't know it, though. <laughs> Friend and I, and I, I, it, it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. It never, some, it was something 
I never took on. But what about my past lives? What about growing up in the 60s where so many people smoked, where it was so prevalent? I mean, a lot of countries have just recently passed laws. What are you going to do about breathing in secondhand inhalants of any kind, whether it's toxins in the environment, whether a volcano erupt, erupts and, you know, sends out fumes, whether it's, you know, every day like cars, whether it is, you know, someone grilling something. These are all in the atmosphere. And it could also be tobacco, marijuana, etc. Many people have been going through stuff where their twin is also affected by marijuana and it's been something to get them by they felt they needed it but the body will continue to expel it how do you get yourself new get all of the gunk out that is a lot of what I cover and so I have several of my webinars I have my live one which is blue infusion this is for your higher etheric and causal bodies because this is what people are saying. How am I going to make this happen? Or I don't know what my future looks like. And I, I'm not sure. Am I going to be with this person? Maybe I should consult someone. Well, I will say this to you. Being with them is a given. What time that's going to be at, that's somewhat subjective. Also, you are a creator. You're either a creator god or a creator goddess. You are creating your future. There's not too many people, especially if you've left that two-horse, two-lane highway called linear time in 3D old paradigm karma. If you left that, you got off that highway. You're in quantum now. You're going to speed up. You're going to slow down. You're going to create things. You're going to jump ahead, you're going to jump back, and you may not know what's going on. How can someone predict this for you? Not easy. So there is, there is sort of a divide out there between knowing what your heart knows and what everyone else's heads are saying. And the head is becoming extremely confused. That is a lot of what I talk about in my blue infusion. And yes, you have to be kind to each other. You have to cut each other some slack because you may not know exactly what your twin is going through. Okay? You may not. Your twin may be being cocooned and healed or something. Or it feels like a cocoon. You may have... Some couples do have pressure around them. They have pressure from family and friends, very well-meaning family and friends who want the best for you. They don't want to see you hurt. And they will, you know, do their best to do things. But there is a lot of adult peer pressure that's going on. And you have, you know, someone here who really misses her twin. She knows what her heart has told her and shown her. Because she gets it both ways. She's seen it, she's felt it, and she's heard it. Okay? She's not really doubting. But now here come a lot of the doubting Thomases. Mita, girl, I told you. There's so many men here. Why limit yourself? You keep pining away for this guy. I mean, he, he just left. Oh, I know, I know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. Okay, girl, just give yourself a chance here. Let some nice men treat you nicely. That's, that's what we're here for. We're here for you to have a good time. But you don't understand. It's just not a good time for me. Everyone feels fake. Everyone feels so, I don't know, it's so superficial. It's not deep. I've longed for deep love all my life. Oh, you know, you just, you don't understand how to play the game. But it's never been a game to me. It's never, ever been a game. I, all, all my life, even as a little girl, you know, girl, you're just getting too heavy for here. 
I think we're just going to see, you know, see what's going around. Oh, look. Oh, smile at that, that man. He's smiling at you. But I don't want to smile at strange men. I don't know them. And if I smile at them, they'll come over here and then next thing we'll be talking and then I'll know a complete stranger and then how am I going to get rid of him? I'm, I'm, I'm just no good at this. She's so good at it. And what do you do about the pressures that come from around you? Or you can have a couple. Here's a couple. And they're very, very much in love. But one believes in free love. And the other one really wants a commitment. And he's insisting upon it. And he's giving ultimatums. And he's saying, look, if we're already living together and we know we love each other, I just don't understand why we can't take it to the next level. Yes, I told you I love you, but I love you enough to set you free. You're also free to see other people. I'd like to see other people. I mean, I always, you know, believe in like adding more to the mix. Makes me more interesting for you when I come home. No, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like when you come home, you're putting other people's energies on me. And I don't like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, we agreed we would use protection. And now you're getting all kind of flighty on me. Well, it's just that, you know, you say all the words, but your actions are not backing you up. It's like you can say this and I don't know. You just, you keep, I don't know. You keep like looking, like you're looking for something that, that you're missing or, or you're going to miss the boat or something. You keep looking for that lost thing. Why can't you see me? But I do see you. I see you on a daily basis. I actually don't know why you're complaining. I mean, we have a good life. We travel, right? Yeah, but when we travel, you're always hot to try. You're always wanting to see as though there's some different spice in each country. Well, there is. Every kind of people is different. There's lots of people that are very different. And yeah, I like to see it. No, it doesn't work that way for me. What works for me is you. I just want you. I, I, I wish you'd understand that. I, gosh, he, he keeps confusing me, but he's the one confused. Why am I always made to feel bad for what I know is true in my heart? And there you go. And how do you get them into alignment? And you sometimes have the male pressure on each other where, you know, you see people and it's like, hey, 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 how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Oh, hey, you ever see that girl anymore? Oh, yeah, uh, that girl. Um, yeah, I, I kind of like she moved. Oh, she was really sweet. Like, you didn't, you didn't want to pursue ever, anything with her? Um, yeah. God, how do I tell my friend? How do I tell my friend that? She rejected me. She thought I was too serious, too heavy. Things got so intense, like how do I tell him? Guys just don't talk this way. Um, you know what? I decided to keep my options open. Oh yeah, um, good for you. Like yeah, if it didn't work out, I mean, I, I could see that. God, I could swear that they really liked each other. They really, really, I could just tell she was like really sweet on him. It was like you could feel the vibe in the room when they were together. I wonder what happened. But he's not saying anything. Well, hey, dude, you know, if you ever want to talk about it or go work out, yeah, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. I I'm doing fine. You don't, you don't got to, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know, okay? Yeah, no, it was nice to see you. Okay, nice to see you too. God, why is this so sensitive? I feel like crying now. I don't want him to see me cry. Just, God, this like ripped my heart out again. Just when I thought I was healing and, and now, now I, I don't know. And there you go. You have some forms of male peer pressure in a different way. And how do you get it to where you want it to be? How do you get it to where people feel and they set off the whole vibe in the room. You know where you have a couple here 
and someone's like, God, when you two are here, it's, it's like, you two are like the life of the party. Like, you're so, like, fun to be around. You're so humorous. And, oh, yeah, we make jokes about it. We make jokes about it because it seems like no matter where we go, people tend to gravitate toward us, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, because... I don't, I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. But it's like, it's so much fun to be together. And it's almost like people notice, but we never say anything. People assume we're married and we're not married yet, but they just, they take us like as an old cu couple. Okay. But then you get some people that are closed off and you have people that would say, oh, you two again. Oh my goodness gracious. You two are so mushy. I feel like my head's being shoved through a bowl of oatmeal every time I'm around you. you know, it's like so lovey-dovey, like, you know, you, you two just need to really, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it is with you. Like, you never get upset. You're always fine with her doing everything. Like, you know, where'd, where'd, where'd the guy I know go? And you start changing on people. And they don't like it because they're wondering, where are all the buttons to push? I can no longer control and manipulate you. Okay, so you have some couples where there's an entire tribe of people around your union. How do you get free? How do you get all of your arrangements so that you can be free? How do you stop some arranged marriages? How do you get things? How do you get it? out of that and some of you know that even if you don't live in a country where that's the tradition there's expectations of you you're expected to do certain things why because it's always been that way like you're always marrying this person of the same religion or the same color or the same anything and it's not all like that anymore twin flames are collapsing all dualities like the whack-a-mole game you know there's one and there's one and there's one. So if you would like to find out more, I would say this. Please consider joining my Blue Infusion live coaching and meditation group. The dates are May 24th, 25th, 26th. Here in the United States, it is our coming Memorial Day weekend. And, you know, I'm trying to pack this in here where it won't interfere with your plans should you be going out of town. So there are several um, dates to choose from. That will be for part three. And I will let you know about part one and two. But I'm going to be talking about conception and stuff. About menstrual cycles, about testosterone cycles, and the following week, the 31st, 1st, and 2nd. Now, if you would like further, deeper information for your union, especially the difference between telepathy and true heart communication, because here's one of the differences. You can hear your twin's thoughts, right? But they're just thoughts, and they're not making any sense, and you're not getting any guidance, and you're not getting anything really concrete about your twin. And pretty soon it starts going, da -da 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 -da. and it's confusing. And worse, it's distracting. And even worse, it might give you a headache and find out you're, you're unable to really function well, do your job, etc. That happens to a lot of males. They can hear the thoughts of their female twin. And they will do their best to simmer it down so that they can work. And it's difficult. But it can sometimes amount to shutting each other out or shutting off your real connections. So I talk in harvesting your love about hurt communication. Why? Because you're going to be communicating over long distances. You really will. Why? Because you're going out of body. I also talk in here about the uh, transition and transformation of the indigo masculine. Hint, that's both men and women, the indigo masculine energy, and several other things that you'll see in the slide after this. And 
another one that I have, which is in two parts. This had so much material. The links are below. The descriptions will follow. Time of Miracles and Dreams. This is going to talk about concluding your universal karma. It's going to talk about your higher sexuality. It is, there's a lot in there that I talk about. Um, this is the beginning basis of where I talk about what are the changes that your body is going through in the reproductive areas. Why do you feel impotent? Why would you feel frigid? Why would you be unable to orgasm? Anybody ever fake an orgasm? Sure you have. You won't have to ever again, but get your body ready. You really won't want to. Anyone ever been with anyone they really don't want to be with? Sure you have. You've been in a marriage with them. You've been in other lives with them. They've done sometimes some nasty things. How do you get rid of it, even if you don't remember? So these are the areas um, that I'm referring to in here of what I talk about to get your body ready, especially if you want to have your baby conception. But it's not only that. It's not always babies. Your creative areas at one time were corresponding to the reproductive areas. Guess what? They won't be there anymore. And I remind you, the biggest sex organ is the heart. It's not the brain. It's the heart. So I talk about some of the changes that your bodies will go through in this as well, what to do. Now, if this is new to you, and I've had several, what I will call newer people where they've found the word twin flame relatively recently, six months ago, eight months ago. They're not entirely new to things that are happening to them. In fact, they can go back 10 years or 20 years and say, this happened, this happened, this happened, and look back as though these are stepping stones. However, <clears throat> now things are coming into fruition. It's time for you to harvest your love. Yes, it is. The other thing to be aware of is you're attached to your other. You just simply are. Some of the things that they may still be up to can and will affect you. It's not going to be easy to turn everything off anymore like it once was. So I do encourage you in, from that regard, please get your light body ready. Find out about it. Find out what's going on. Because, you know, we're, we're in the space that's between the magic of 5D, the science of medicine and technology. We're getting a little bit there with some energy work, but there is much more, and there are inner parts of you that only your twin can touch. This is what I address, especially in my blue infusion. How do you get the higher etheric and causal? What does causal mean? Causal means how you cause things to happen simply by vibing it. Not by hammers and tongs and dualistic behavior, you know, or worse, control, intimidation, rivalry, killing someone out of the deal. That's not how it's going to happen anymore. Creating is a different process. Manifesting is familiar but a slightly different process. And some of you might say, hey, my manifester isn't broken. I manifest everything except who? Except twin. Except the twin. And that's a large part of what I do talk about in these. And if you've especially been having trouble feeling your twin, if this is fairly new to you, check it out. Check it out. I think you'll like it. To some people who have been maybe around for a while and, you know, you've gotten a little bit maybe upset about some of this. It's natural to be upset. In fact, some people are very angry at their twin. That's natural. Guess why? Your light body can't hold those emotions anymore. It will come up and out. There's nowhere to shove it. There's nobody to put it onto. 
you can try. You can try to, you know, keep putting it into a soulmate, you know, but this is not about slapping meat together. This is going to be about much more of the true essence of who you are. So for some people who are the naysayers, I do have a little message. Keep barking. The caravan is moving on. If you left yourself there, you left yourself there. I still don't know who all is going, but what I do know is these are the time frames. <clears throat> I cannot name names. Get yourself ready by the solstice. By July, you're going to feel things closing up on you. Or you're really getting almost shoved through the door. And, and this is your counterpart, too. This is not a one-way street. This is, a, this is both of you. This is both of you. Okay? And August, if you are a Blu-ray, to everyone's great relief, and the crowd goes wild, the lineage damage and disease. So if you've had a chronic illness, and those can be like things like fibromyalgia, um, it could be um, kidney and lymph, it can be autoimmune, it can be um, epilepsy, it can be diabetes or hypoglycemia. If you've had a chronic condition that you've been living with, August is the time you're going to be able to close the door on it forever. And that's a beautiful thing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're able to join. Please have a wonderful week. See you soon. Bye.